Kani here. In this video, let's continue learning more about gas laws. And actually, we will talk about Dalton's gas law. And what is the real name of Dalton's gas law? It is simply Dalton's law of partial pressure. So, what is the law about? The law states that if you have a mixture or a solution of two or more gases. Now keep in mind there is a condition if the gases are not reacting chemically and if they are mixed then the total pressure of the mixture is equal to nothing but simply sum of individual pressures of each of the gases. So let's say maybe we have PA, PB and PC are the pressures due to each gas A, B and C. The total pressure is simply the sum of all the pressures P, A, P, B and P, C. Here are again those simple steps for solving gas law problems. We should always focus on getting the list of givens first. The next thing is make sure to check the units. Don't forget temperature is always in Kelvin and volume and pressure should have same units. Just keep that in mind. Then you of course write the equation, then you plug and check, then you do some math calculations and get the correct answer. So let's actually solve this first problem for Dalton's gas law. What is it? Okay, it says we have three gases and then the total pressure is given to be 972 torr. That's bingo! We got PT as 972 torr. And then what else is given? If the pressure of helium is 6.73, let me write down as my first pressure P1, 6.73 PSI. And then if I keep on reading, it says pressure with second gas oxygen is 74.1 kPa and we need to find out the pressure of the third gas, xenon. Now, our equation is simply Pt will be equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3, right? But can we really add these pressure units? Look at that. It's PSI, KPA and over here we have torr. We cannot just mix and match different units. That means we need to go through some convergence. And in this problem, the easiest would be to convert both of these to torr. So let's do the conversion. 6.73 PSI going through and that means we should have PSI over here and if it is PSI you should know we get 14.7 PSI and this will be 760 Tor. They are all equal values of pressure. Remember when atmosphere is equal to all those values. So PSI gets cancelled and what we end up getting is 348 Tor. Now remember what we got was actually P1 value in two. Let's do same thing for P2 and we do conversion for that from kilopascal to torr. Okay, so what comes here is kilopascal and now it's simple 760 torr and this will be 101.33. Again the unit gets cancelled and when you multiply end up getting 556 store. Now look at that. We got two values of pressure units and both are in tor. Now you can go back to your formula and you can plug and check. So PT is 972. You're getting that answer over here and that equals to let's plug in pre pressure value P1 plus P2 value is 556 and plus it is P3. So we are going to solve this equation for P3. And actually if you add 
do the calculations, what we end up getting is P3 is 68 torr. So there we go. We ended up getting the final value for pressure for the third gas. And which law we use? We use Dalton's law of partial pressure. Okay, here is one more problem, a little tricky. Two gases are mixed up and we have to find out the pressure in the new container. So, what do we have? We have all these values for gases before they are mixed up. Okay, so that's the gas number one. This is the gas number two. And then let's write down each one of those. So, we have P1, V1 and T1 values. Then we will have P2, V2 and T2. And when we mix those up together, let's make those P3, V3 and T3. So what's the first pressure? It is 794. Then what is the first volume given? That is 200 milliliters. And temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So we convert that to Kelvin and that becomes 2. 93 Kelvin. Okay, let's do second one. Second gas has 300 milliliters as volume. And then pressure is 600. And the temperature is 80 degrees. So it's 80 plus 273, which is 353 Kelvin. Let's do the third one when we mix up both these gases. Remember, the first gas and second gas both are mixed up and we end up having the net pressure P3. So actually we need to calculate P3, but we know the volume. Volume is 1.75 liters. Now keep in mind, this is in liters, but these two are in milliliters. So we have to make sure you put in the same unit and probably I'm just going to convert this and write down this as 1.75 times 10 to the third milliliters. And then T3 is 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 which is 298 Kelvin. Okay, so our job is to find out the total pressure P3. And how do you find out? We actually use the formula for combined gas law. And when the first gas mixes up into the bigger container, the new pressure which we get is different. So it's P3, V3 over T3. And we need to plug and check. It's 790 times 200 over 293 equals P3 which is unknown then it is 1.75 times 10 to the third that divided by 298 and when we solve for P3 what do we get? We get P3 equal to 91.8 total and then we do same thing for the second gas, which is P2, V2 over T2, and now that is getting mixed up into a new container. So that's P3, V3 over T3. And then we again do plug and check. So it's 600 times 300 divided by 353, and that gives you over here pressure P3 which is unknown then volume is 1.75 10 to the third divided by 298 what do we get P3 here that comes out to be 86.8 so we ended up getting two values of pressure for the gases when they are transferred to the new container and now we are going to actually mix those values here. So ideally it will be the total pressure PT which we have will be combination of these two. 
so it will be 91.8 plus 86.8 which is 179 torr. So that is the final ratio which you are getting for the gas. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye bye.